data size, you know, the best thing when you're doing in the tank, color of the fish also get very shiny colors, guys. They have really shiny colors and look clean also. Look at the fish size. It's like a hundred, 100 grams to 150 grams. 150 grams, something like, you know, the size. And then, so the fish size is not so much big. Eight grams, 10 grams, some of the fish. One month before they are very small also. Now they get good shape, good size. Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. And today I'm going to give you the little update about my fish farming. Since long time I'm not updating about the like how's the going on my fish farming now. So I will say this is just a, like my training is going. So I just want to share with you guys also what is the update about my learning. This is my, this is the feed we will be going to talk about and then we will talk about the big tank and learning tank. That we have the power there, someone just removed the power. So the motor stopped working. There's no oxygen in the both tank. This tank fish has the big, so I don't know how they survive like a 20 hours without oxygen. It is not possible, it's supposed to be die like a 12 hours, supposed to be die all fish here also. And this tank, small fish, they completely die all fish. Maybe 200, 150 around pieces of fish I can see. They still have small baby fish. But this tank, 20, 10, 20 pieces only fish die, uh, which I see in the CCTV only because I was not here. So I don't know also what happens. So I give you the update about the small tank. So what I'm doing it now, so I'm not bringing any small fishes now at the moment. And I will be growing the small fish. After the grow, I will be shifting them here. And then only I will be planning to bring the fish. Now the quarry time is a January. So not bringing fish because if the temperatures will go down and if I bring the new fishes, the baby fish chances to die in the winter. And you can, you, you can see also the tank is shed is not also proper shedding. So this is just a net is there. So it will get more cold water. So it will be chances to die also. Uh, but the big tank, the update about the big tank, which is I feel the fish have problem with the feeding. So, so the fish not get properly get size, you know. And I was thinking maybe after two months I can sell it in the like previous video I say. But when I check the size of the fish, this time the size I did not get it for the selling. At least I need it uh, like a 500 grams weight size and then only I can sell it in the market. Now what I did yesterday, I increased the oxygen level. You can see the motor here. So I change one of the motor which is not give proper oxygen. So I just change it. I bring the new one and just put it also. Now inside the tank you can see also they have the good amount of oxygen and uh, I believe also that maybe this is also parameters which affecting my fish to grow. I will be showing the fish also later on but let's talk about the fish food. I bought this protein from online and I mix with the ready-made feeding. I mix it with the water, little bit protein and just air drying it because Protein has some kind of a smell, so I just sort of want to remove that smell, so fish can eat very, very nicely. And maybe sometime because of the smell, the fish is not taking the feed properly. So this time, if the smell is not there, the fish will take feed nicely, you know, and it will take very fast. So that is the purpose. Now there's no smell in the food, and then protein also get dry, air dry because there's no sun, you can keep it in the sun also, just one day and then make it dry. And I see the growth in the fish now. I'm just giving it from the one month to the fish, start feeding them. And I can see in the small fish also, there is a growth and the big fish also, there is a growth and they have the good digestion also. Like uh, sometime if you're feeding the feed, 
So the fish, if the fish is not digesting the food properly, they will not grow also. The growth is there, but I want to start in the beak, you know, why I'm not doing in the beak? Okay, you invest the money already in the big pound, you bring 100,000 of fish, 200,000 of fish and then you put in the pound, okay, and you don't know exactly what went wrong and how to take care in the beginning, how to before you adding in the water what you have to do with the fish if you don't know the process of doing but and you suddenly you bring the fish and you put in the pound and if the fish get shocked and then your fish will be dying you know if in the big pound your fish die you will don't know where the fish is gone but in the tank here if your fish is die you can see you know you can see you can find the fish because it's floating on the top but in the big pound you cannot find it out hundred thousand go where so that is the one I want to be perfect in my learning first and I'm going and doing in the small step by step. If I will be confident myself, okay, I can take one pound, then I can keep in the 10 pound also, there will be no problem also. So that is the way of, my way of doing it because I don't want to, end of the day, this is life things, you know, you take care, you feeding them, your fish die, it's very painful also. Then your you know money wasted money time waste and then your confidence also get low so i don't want to do that on um, these things but i want to go slowly confidence in yourself and good knowledge about it about your disease about your feeding and water you know the climate when the climate comes you know the weather get changed how the fish is reacting so this is all small small details you have to be doing it but local farmers they are really really experienced because they are doing it from the family to family they have like maybe his father was doing and then now the son is doing it so they are like a generation they are doing it so they know very well you know what the water has problem what the fish is do like a get disease what kind of disease and when the weather comes what has to give to the fish so they know everything but for me I am new in this field and I am, I want to learn it in a proper way. Some of the farmers will tell you every single thing, you know, what they are doing it. Some of them is, will be hiding, they will be not telling you the truth. But I was talking in my place, some of the farmers and they give me, you know, good knowledge about the feeding. So, which I am trying it and I am happy enough that, you know, I can see some growth. In the fish, you, your fish will be like, you are feeding in a one month and your fish will be like a half kg, it will be not possible. It will be grow slowly only, but there is a growth that is more important and from the starting your culture and you like you finish your culture, so you have to know that how much time it take to bring this fish to the, you know, the size which you are looking at. So that is also important. So. That's all guys, so I just give you the details and then I will show you the fish, some of the fish. I just want to show you first the small fish. It's not enough fish here, but I just want to show you the size of the fish here. What is the size have? Now you can see the size of the fish. This is the size guys. So this size I can put in the bacterial water, bioflock water, but uh, now I just want to keep it like this only, here only. Let it grow here. Get the size like a 40 grams, 50 grams size. And this is enough. And then after that, I will be shifting there. I don't want to shift these fishes now here because here is already crowded now, so much fish here. So it will be, if I put more fish here, it will be problem for me to maintain the water. So what I'm doing it, I'm not adding so much of fish here now. Two, 1000 fish is enough and my size is like a 500 grams. I'm looking for the size. And this is the size I can take. In this tank, 500 kg of fish, I can take it out. Put 1000 and 1000 pieces of fish and half kg 500 grams so it will give me like 500 kg of fish but if i take it out 400 also it will be really good achievement
the size of the fish is still small guys let me find it out another fish so guys look at the size so this is the fish so guys So this is the size of the fish, very clean, very shiny fish, yeah this fish is really good. Now size is coming very well this time, after one month feeding the protein I can see the size of the fish, they better than the previous one. Like a one month before, it was really, really. Uh, little bit bigger when bigger than that, bigger than that. This fish, and some of the fish I found like this size only, but now the fish get bigger. Water don't have a smell at all. Just look brown because of the bacterial and then bacterial water. So this is the bio, bio flock water only. So that's the color of the water. Size is getting good. And I'm really, really confident now that, you know, after feeding this protein and taking care of the fish properly, proper oxygen. And after 10 days, I'm just changing some water like a 10% and uh, maintaining the sludge also that will help me to grow fish very fast and yeah it's learning and doing it in properly let's see how it goes and i will be sharing with you guys also this information if somebody want to do and i have contacted with one of my friend and then i will be visiting his farm also to see because he asked me also that uh, how i can he has a pound so he want to do you do it also and he want to grow the fish and of course the fish has a lot of margins okay a lot of profits you have it here and it's very easy to sell fish here in thailand it's not difficulties if you want help from the moons your fishery department they will help you if you want to help take the help from the local market they will come and they will take your fish also so that is the one it's very easy to do I hope like this video and it will be helping you guys if you want to do it's up to you guys you can have some like a passion about fish farming and every business has the difficulties it's not like you don't have difficulties here is a challenge to take care of the fish okay during the cold during the starting time you have to keep the maintaining waters you know and then so your fish will be growing very fast and then you have to give proper protein also guys so so your fish will be grow very fast and in a less time if you grow the fish very fast this will be your achievement guys <laughs>